And it's Ken Kreitzer for Camp Vets Media. We're at West Point for Army football practice, uh, second of the year uh, for the Black Knights. They did an afternoon practice after starting on Tuesday with a morning, uh, separate sessions for the freshmen uh, going out, a uh, big number of uh, freshman players, and then the varsity uh, returning uh, players in uh, second session. Uh, no pads yet, that'll start uh, on Monday. But uh, everyone looking forward to the start of the season, the first year for Army in the American Athletic Conference. Uh, we're down at the media day, and Army was well welcomed uh, by, uh, the, by the commissioner, Tim Bernetti, and the coaches. And uh, uh, it's going to be an interesting uh, time for Army. For some, they've been in a conference in nearly 30 years. And uh, so uh, something for the players and coaches all to look forward to. We'll talk a little bit to Cody. Orly, the offensive coordinator, has been the quarterback coach. He's going to do both jobs. And he said uh, very impressive uh, uh, defenses in the American Athletic Conference. Uh, he feels it's the best <coughs> of the group of five conferences by far. Uh, talked a little bit today after practice with wide receiver Casey Reynolds. Also, the phenomenal running back, Kanye Udo, who had over 500 yards rushing last year as a freshman, averaged over five yards a carry. And left tackle, uh, Booby Law, had experience. He uh, came back, he's coming back from an injury. Uh, talked a little bit, uh, 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 Bill Cassianis coming back also, uh, as, as kind of penciled in at the left guard spot. Um, also, David Hoyt. And of course, Brady told the hey! phenomenal hey, 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 hey. year that he did uh, uh, as a freshman, uh, playing most of the season. And going back and forth when Army switched the offense uh, late in the year against Coastal Carolina, remember that? That they went from the uh, shotgun back to the under center offense, the more traditional option offense that Army had run. And this year it's going to be a hybrid. We're not exactly sure what it's going to look like, but it's going to be a little closer to what we've seen in the past uh, of the run-oriented, the under-center offense. Uh, and uh, really, Kanye Udo, uh, really a terrific uh, uh, running back to uh, lead behind a big offensive line. Uh, we'll be talking after Friday's practice with defensive coordinator Nate Woody. And hearing a little bit more about the defense, where there are a lot of new players, but um, Caleb Fordner certainly established himself last season as a as a game changing player. Certainly that strip sack he made against uh, uh, Navy, uh, picking up the ball, running for a touchdown, will be long remembered uh, by Army football fans. And uh, of course, Max D. Domenico, uh, the uh, one of the defensive court uh, captains. Um, but uh, uh, one of the strengths on the team, you've got uh, uh, the quarterback coming back, uh, Bryson Daly, and uh, with a full season starting. And going in the season as a starter, last year it was likely, but not for sure, but uh, uh, he will be under center. And his true leader as a captain and uh, had a phenomenal season. I just was, still think it was remarkable the turnaround Army had the last four games of the year. Uh, with a terrific win at uh, Air Force, the two home wins, and then, of course, the Navy win up in Foxborough uh, was just such a terrific ending of the season, a Commander Chief Trophy uh, championship year. So uh, looking forward to uh, the new season and uh, on Cam Vets Media and our team uh, covering Army football and college football. We'll have our huddle. Uh, Jelly on Monday nights, and uh, looking forward to getting our team's thoughts on what should be a very interesting Army football season, and uh, starting all off with the home opener against Lehigh Friday night of, of Labor Day weekend. So uh, we'll have more. Watch for, for a couple of interviews that we did today uh, with uh, Kanye Udo, Casey Reynolds, and Booby Law. And, of course, yesterday we talked at length with Coach Monk, and he had a lot to say had his thoughts about uh, changes in college football and changes in opportunities. For some, it will be increased opportunities. For others, it could be less. And Coach was uh, really an advocate for more opportunities for college athletes. 
So we can watch that. It's on our YouTube page. So we're glad to be up here at West Point for the start of Army football season 2024. Got to point out one thing, that the East Stands are gone from Mikey Stadium. Those built in the 1960s, not the original, but they're gone. And over two years, they're going to be replaced with a state-of-the-art grandstand with luxury seating and a new place for the cadets to uh, uh, to watch the games front. So we'll look forward to that, watching the construction over the next two years. So uh, from West Point and uh, Mikey Stadium, this is Ken Kreitzer for Cam Vets Media. We cover cadets, midshipmen, the military, and veterans proudly since 2008. Thanks for watching.